What's going on guys? It's Jimmy here. We got some major, major warnings here. You can see here, Russia makes a nuclear ultimatum to the United States. I'll let you know exactly what it is here, as well as Russia responsible for the Niger coup, says top Ukrainian official. And Putin is actually ready to give out free weapons as the Niger tensions boil over. Remember that over in the country of Niger, there is 1,100 American troops as there is a U.S. military base there. So with Putin ready to give out free weapons there, and American U.S. troops there, you can already kind of see maybe the writing on the wall. Will U.S. troops actually be having to fight there? This comes as the French embassy was attacked in Niger. Uh, you can actually see some of the footage here as it was attacked. And, um, yeah, it's pretty serious here. And the French President Macron actually said that they would use military force if any of their people were um, hurt or, uh, wow, look at this footage. It's, it's um, yeah, so they had to actually use tear gas there. And you could see the people using tear gas throwing the tear gas back seemed like they were unaffected there and um you almost kind of wonder what if this was the u.s embassy would they have used force military force back would the u.s have stood for it would they have allowed this well those are some serious windows to withstand that are you know were they bulletproof windows um Wow, because, you know, normal windows do not withstand that type of uh, blunt force trauma. But, um, and, and you got to kind of wonder how many people were inside there uh, at the time. And, um, yeah, do you send out force? Do you just, wow, this that's on fire there. Yikes. So you can see here this was not a peaceful protest. And, um, yeah, I mean, lives are kind of at risk here. Definitely at risk here. Let me know your thoughts on this here in the comments. And, you know, would the U.S. stand for this? Or at least what do you do? Do you evacuate people? Do you... Yeah, that's a tough call there. It's a tough call. And now, remember here that Russian President Vladimir Putin is saying that he's going to hand out free weapons. You can see it's definitely... Uh, now, remember, there's also that there has been signs in the stands of Russian flags that have, what a lot of people say, have been handed out there because, you know, Niger is one of the poorest countries in the world, and it's doubtful that these people actually went out and spent their own money on these flags. Russian flags, I just don't think that they, you know, would choose between buying food and spending money on Russian flags. But Russian President Vladimir Putin is prepared to give away weapons for free to the African nation of Niger. As, remember, they just got their president taken over in a coup attempt. So their president got taken over militarily and um, the West African uh, blocks, basically, it's an African, you know, nation set up. It's kind of like the United Nations, but it's, you know, African leaders there are saying that they've given him a set amount of days to restore the president, or else they're saying they're going to have to move in militarily. Uh, they're saying because the, the previous president was elected by the people in a dem democracy vote. and. Um, the president just got taken over by a military general. You can see the problems here. And Russia is now intervening, saying, oh, we're going to just give weapons to this guy who just attempted the coup attempt. 
Yeah. yeah. And meanwhile, there's over 1,100 U.S. military troops there in a U.S. base. There's also a French base. I, I don't even know how many different countries have embassies there. And you got to kind of wonder how much of this is Vladimir Putin just trying to stir up trouble. And now he's going to hand out weapons to them just so, what, he can cause more of a conflict? This also comes here as Russia makes a nuclear ultimatum to the United States. A Russian official has explained the circumstances in which Moscow would withdraw the tactical nuclear weapons it has deployed to Belarus. In an interview with the state news agency RIA Novosti, Alexei Polosku, this Russian foreign official, repeated the Kremlin rhetoric that the weapons had been sent to Belarusian, Belarusian territory in response to the actions of the West. The specter of nuclear weapons has hung over Vladimir Putin's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, although the U.S. has said there is no immediate actions the Kremlin plans to use such arms. Belarusian leader Alexander Lukashenko, a Putin ally, boasted in June about how territory in his country was hosting weapons that would be housed in a storage facility built by Moscow which has said it would retain control of these nuclear missiles. But this Russian official told the Russian state news agency that the deployment of the weapons was, quote, in response to the long-term destabilizing nuclear policy of NATO and Washington and the fundamental changes that have recently taken place in key areas of European security. This is a quote. This forced containment measure is designed to ensure the security of the Union state, which, as you know, has a common defense space. The Union state is an economic and defense union between Minsk and Moscow. He said that the, quote, hypothetical withdrawal of Russian tactical nuclear weapons from Belarus would, quote, only be possible if the United States and NATO abandon their destructive course of purposely undermining the security of Russia and Belarus. This implies the complete withdrawal of all U.S. nuclear weapons to U.S. territory and the elimination of the corresponding infrastructure in Europe. This, this implies the complete withdrawal of all U.S. nuclear weapons to U.S. territory and the elimination of the corresponding infrastructure in Europe. A U.S. Department spokesperson said it was continuing to monitor the Russia-Belarus arrangement to ensure Moscow maintains control of its weapons we will be paying close attention to any deviation. We have not seen any reason to adjust our own nuclear posture, nor any indication Russia is preparing to use a nuclear weapon. Quote, Russia's rhetoric about nuclear weapons is reckless and irresponsible. It underscores Putin's hypocrisy and Russia's posture for strategic intimidation. For Belarus, it is yet another example of Lukashenko making irresponsible and provoc provocation Choices to cede ever more control over Belarus to the Kremlin against the will of the Belarusian people. Now, for Russia to think that the United States would arm down, cede down, or get rid of nuclear weapons on Russia's request would simply not happen because Russia won't do the same. So it's not like that any of that would happen russia won't even remember they had a they had a um, a treaty that said that each party would be able to inspect each other's nuclear weapons and see where they were at and stuff and russia just stopped doing that here a while ago just to be able to inspect it so each one would know where you know the nuclear weapons and stuff were and to be able to inspect it because obviously these things are very very dangerous 
and Russia stopped doing that a while ago. So um, for them to make this nuclear ultimatum to the United States, but yet not reciprocate is, you know, is Russia, right? You can let me know your thoughts on this here in the comments. I'll keep you up to date here with everything happening here around the world that you need to know about. If you haven't yet, click the subscribe button down below and the bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos that come out here on our YouTube channel every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, thanks for liking and sharing these videos. Click here to see how North Korea just said there was no other choice but to have a nuclear attack. And there's thousands of troops now moving to the border, NATO troops against Russia. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.